curse that dude that thinks he's fucking Flash. It doesn't all it doesn't spawn him there. You only get him when you play as Dante. But when you get to that point as Dante. And then I think when it's on Dante must die mode, it's the same layout of enemies. But I'm certain they do different moves because I know for a fact it's gonna happen because of Virgil. Because it doesn't is never done unless if he does do it on this. This difficulty. Because on the old ones, on number three, he used to do, he used to stay in the air and he threw the swords at you very fast. And he's never done that. Because that's when I thought, oh, probably when he jumps up in the air, when he jumped, teleports, jumped up to smack down, I wonder if you could go to him and hit him out of it. And you can. But it's like, would you... It's always been like that with Virgil, it's always best to keep him on the floor. Because you can do more damage to him. It's coming from the Clypod's roof. I'm surprised though they didn't actually bring the thingy back. Unless if it's in a skill. The double ganger. So Dante can you've got two Dantes. V, you get good points because of that. Because you kill them in, you, you, you're doing a powerful hit and it kills them. Look, 4,113 style points. How many difficulties are there? If it's same as four, it should be human mode, devil hunter, son of spider, you unlock Dante must die and heaven or hell at the same time. And then I think when you complete on Dante Must Die mode, you've got Hell or Hell mode. So that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Because Hell and Hell mode was a thing on. They introduced that on four. Where it's like I said, on four, there wasn't an achievement behind it. You get an S. It was just completed, not beaten at all with an S. Here's the world. That's why I'm interested of in seeing what is the difficulty going to be. Is it going to? Because whenever they did it on four, it was yeah, it was one hit for you, but not one hit for them. But the game was set on normal. So I wonder if if it's going to be the same as this. Is it going to be on normal, or is it going to be set on Son of Spider or Dante of Time? For the fact you don't have to like. You can get hit and still get an axe. But it's 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 my new impossible to get uh, to get an S on heaven or hell mode since it's one hit for you, one hit for them. Because if you can't hit them, you can't do the combo, you can't do anything. But it's say uh, anyway you can do it is if you dodge them at the perfect time every single time, or if you're playing as Dante. You keep royal guard in them. I have to keep going. And then you, your style goes up like that. Because I'm presuming it would be the same as the special edition version of 4 because I did it on, on the 360 version I did it I actually attempted to see if I could get an S and I did I got an S on heaven or hell mode so it's just everything one hit bang shoot 
anything. Any hit that hits, it will kill. So I'm wondering if it was actually if it will still do it when you go up against the, de the Demon King with his shield. Does that still class as being like an enemy type thing? So if you hit it once or anything, it's going to destroy it. And it's like I said with that achievement to defeat him, to actually beat him in the prologue. It'd just be easy, it's just to get it on heaven or hell mode. Because you can just shoot him once and kill him. And as you can see, it doesn't normally spawn. The two Grim Reaper dudes off the DMT Devil Side, that teleport. One, two of them. Yeah, that's what they are. Can you please? Can you please rotate him? And obviously on DMC, as you said the other day, DMC was the first game to introduce the whole styling styling uh, difficulty, where you can only hit enemies when you've got an S. <laughs> Unless if it is on this. You beat Dante with die mode, or hell or hell mode, and then you get, uh, you get that. Because I'm surprised it didn't bring a thingy mode in, permadeath. You die once, that's it, you gotta start again. But you, well, you can kind of say that hell or hell mode is that, but I wonder if if they can, because on 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 four as well, because they even had it on DMC. Did they have it on DMC? Uh, did, didn't it? Uh, you've got three lives, three hits. Te well, technically three hits. You get hit, you come, you revive back. So you don't. It's not like unless if they change it for this, so it is classic to continue to getting hit. says it's got three coin you'll have three gold orbs at the top. Yeah. Yeah. I finished watching this game with my granddad today. I knew we were up to something. He's just, like, it's just Virgil. He's just human, he's the human side of Virgil. But after all this time, it was just scheming it. So his demon side to eat the apple, to gain full strength. And then he forms himself back in. So he's got the human form. So then it's like he gains power. It, well, it makes sense then. 
This is now Dante and Virgil should gain power through being in the demon world. Unless if if they actually made it so Strike. Virgil did gain power from or he didn't lose power through being in the demon world because it was pure it was like more of a demonish because of his personality. Didn't really give a shit about him. But obviously when Dante's in there, he loses power because he's got his humanity. He actually cares about it. He's actually a human. But now, like I said, Virgil is technically a human now. He's, he's a good guy. From, from when, he's, when he's talking to Trish, like I said the other day, when he's talking to Trish and he's saying, uh, I can see why I... When I was looking for power, I pushed people away. Quite possibly. He has no reason to keep Dante alive. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, it might have been him at the top that hit me. Why it's always best on Devil May Cry games to get rid of the things that fly first because it's just a bunch of bitches. So they are. Yeah, because obviously, D, because of, so, so obviously with Virgil, when he was in, when he brought himself back to normal, that was his human side. So when he's in the human world, yeah, the he doesn't lose power so because he's obviously a demon. Might just be able to that's if it, I'm presuming that's how it works. If you're a demon, you lose power, but if you're human, you don't. But if you're a human in the demon world, you lose power, vice versa. Anyway. I gain extra 5% more damage if I'm here. I've got this on. I've got this hat on, I do 5% more. But if I've got this hat on, I get mine. They think they're, all, they think they're playing an RPG game. Oh shit, got two of the knights here as well. I didn't see that coming since I was like literally just sitting there doing attacks. At the end of the As you know, I've not really played it. It probably would be something that. That would interest me because of the way the game is. You can kind of say it's for the people, to me, Metro's for the people that don't really like Fallout because it's like got, it's got like the RPG element to it with the stats and shit. Well, this weapon does this damage. But but it's like it, it wasn't really like that but it was because that's when they fully changed it for like 76 it didn't matter if you had that weapon one time that's it you could just use that all, all the time because of the damage that I thought for. Because I'm presuming Metro Deluxe is more of a just a shooter. 
survival horror shield. Because that's what the, the latest one looks like. It just looks like a Russian version of Fallout. But it's just not an RP, it's got no like RPG type shit to it. Like elements, like damage and stuff. Wondering what's gonna be here then, if it's just or is it just gonna be these three? Are gonna spawn from there all? I think it's kind of cool that they've brought these back to the game. Because it's like, you can kind of say these are like, you can see a lot of liquor in them, in a way, because the way they look. And obviously since the originally it was on the first one, and obviously one was more Resident Evil-ish, and then it's like, they do look like liquors. Can get both James. I don't know. Plus the damn. But yeah, it's like it's like even the actors, actors and actresses, like. Obviously, it's their faces, but it's not their voices. But it's like the actors, face models, whatever. If you really appreciate it, and you knew like they were like a conference or like a comic con thing, and they were there, you would actually go there and actually like shake their hands and say, "Yeah, he, he was very good in Devil May Cry. I liked it." It's like this dude who plays Bing. Very mysterious, and he's got like a good. Like it's just a, uh, you can kind of say it's like a. It seems this sword is still too strong for me. Which it is. It's like a pussy version of Virgil, because Virgil's all. He seems like a type of person who's like. Uh, he's a high standard to people. Like he's, he, he, he likes strength. style because the way he looks. Yeah. It speaks. He likes to read books and stuff like what V does. Plus like even on three. Where is he? He's in the library all the time. Dante. But I'm very surprised thing is not on this though. The girl off too. I'm very surprised she's not on this. But it's like, yeah, we know. He's like that, uh, but he's just asleep. <laughs> kind of like when he, because it's like I said, and it's, it, it, this this happens on the animal. The so-called powerful demon. It hits Dante, and then he puts him up on a cross. He put literally stabs him through all his like his arms, his hands, arms, legs, chest. And Dante's just there like that, and everyone thinks he's dead, but he's not. He just gets up. He goes because he yawns, and then he just just jumps off the, the thing, kind of like on three when all fucking things stab him, and he just walks off like it's nothing. Pretty much like that. He's asleep.